All right, today I'm going to show you how to remove the fuel pump and replace it in a uh, 2000 Toyota Solora. In this, you want to make sure that the pump is actually broken first. So uh, put your ear to the gas tank and try to start the car, and you'll hear if the pump is running on the inside or not. Um, also, some Toyotas have a fuse to tell you whether or not the, uh, the pump is broken. Or if the fuse is shot, obviously just replace that and see if it works. Anyway, so it's underneath the back seat. Um, you can see me right now, I've lifted up kind of the cap of it, and I've been taking off these little bolts. I believe that's an 8mm, 7 or 8. Um, I was out in the middle of uh, nowhere as I was replacing this pump. And there's two little clips that connect the uh, pump to the gas line. So you press in the clips and you can pull off the little plastic end. And you can lift up the fuel pump and the whole you know contraption right out of the gas tank itself. Just like so, you gotta twist it and move it around a little bit. And you really do want to be wearing gloves when you're doing this. Um, gas is one of those things, you know, causes cancer and all that stuff. So you want to avoid that. And here you can see the little, um, the unit that tells you how much gas is in your gas tank. So when your gas tank is full, the little bobber goes up. And when your gas tank is empty, it goes down. So that's your fuel gauge. And right here at the bottom, you can see that uh, fuel filter. It just make sure there's no gunk and stuff in the gas as it goes through the pump. Take off the bottom plastic a little bit. And then uh, you can see in this shot that I am taking apart the little latches, the orange plastic pieces that hold the plastic pump into place. So you just undo each of the little latches and uh, pull the pump away from the, the, the whole unit. And then I'm going to pop off the fuel filter just like a, with a little screwdriver. Just kind of lift up on it. There's a little metal clasp that will pop off. And then the fuel filter will slide off the old fuel pump. And there is the pump itself. I am unconnecting the electronics from it as well right now. And this is the culprit. You do need the little plastic bit. And then your new kit will come with a little rubber washer that goes on the new pump. And then there's another plastic bit on the bottom below that. You're going to need to transfer those things over to the new pump. Just like so, using your new rubber washer. And then the same old plastic pieces. All right, one of the crappy things is that you do have to splice a new, a new head connector onto the old wires. So I just cut the wires, and I'm going to strip them down just a little bit. And then in your new kit, you will have the little wire connectors. I think they're the butt end connectors that you'll just put on the end and then crimp shut to make a good connection between the two wires. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm just kind of twisting the ends to keep all the wires together. And here is the little connector. So I'm going to put that on the old wire and then grab a pair of pliers. I ended up using a pair of vice grips because it had a better clamp. And you don't want this thing coming loose. If you have to, because it comes loose and your pump starts working, you have to do this all over again. Anyway, I'm going to list all the parts and stuff that you'll need in the video description below. Amazon is usually where I get all my stuff, so you can just get it off of there. Pretty quick and easy. Now I'm sliding the new connector that'll attach to the new pump into the little wire splicer and I'm pinching it shut with my vice grip so that it's super secure and now I'm kind of taking the wires and pushing them as far up into the unit as possible so that they're out of the way and that they won't be sitting in the gas when I put it back into the tank and I'm lining the fuel pump up with a little slot and pressing it in. And this will take some force, so just make sure that your wires are out of the way in the top and that you can uh, get a good grip on it and force it into place so it'll latch into the orange plastic pieces. Perfect. Now you're going to take the fuel filter and just press it into place. Get it as far on there as possible, but the orange plastic piece that goes on the bottom will hold it into place once you get it on there. You can see right there in that shot 
now I have the uh, orange plastic piece put back down on it. Anyway, get it in there, line it up straight, clip it back in, get all those bolts back into place, and you're set. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I think most Toyota cars are the same. Um, you can also hit me up on Twitter or Facebook or even Google Plus if you're into that kind of thing. Anyway, if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. Thanks for watching.